amigos, and thank you for tuning in for another episode Shoot. of Anderson's TV. Where today, Mr. Peter, <laughs> we are looking at six, what do you call like small tube amps shootout. What is a small tube it's amp? It's pretty small. Oh, well, it's not like the smallest, smallest tube amp shootout because no, it's a big tube amp, tube shootout, but small. It's tube like amps. the ones that are like that fi ah. fifteen to twenty watt thing. I think, yeah. and I'll tell you why, just very quickly. Personally, possibly with the exception of the Blackstar HT5, which I think is awesome, I think most of the 5 watt valve amplifiers by all these guys are like those ones that are almost just made to be a cheap price point, little speaker, no reverb, no knobs on them, yeah. and they all sound a bit cat. Yeah, you'd rather buy a solid state like a Boss if you, for that amount of money. So this is when we say small valve amplifier, it's the smallest ones that we think are any good. Controversial. Well, it's, we could only fit six in the room like this in one row anyway. We did. Oh. <laughs> so, we have an Origin 20 from Marshall, uh, an Orange Rocker 15 from Orange, Orange. <laughs> Fender Blues Junior Mark IV, probably yeah. the most popular of all the amps in the row. Yeah. Supro Blues King 12. Ooh. New. New. That's the Ooh. newest one. A lot of the old fashioned Vox AC15 with a green speaker in it of some sort. Mm -hmm. uh, and the Blackstar HT20 from the new Mark II uh, series. Yes. He says. Um, Before we go any further, I just want to say we all mic'd up with uh, SM57s, um, as you can see in the front. And that's it. That's it. I'm playing this PRS <sighs> guitar. Because it's so just been just hanging on the wall. What exceptional taste that person must have. Yeah, it's a beautiful um, guitar. I've split the, the thingy. So, two sections to this demo. The first section is a relatively straightforward run through all these amplifiers on their clean channel with the EQ relatively 12 o'clock ish, all around about the same kind of volume. Yeah. Um, the first two amps that we're going to try, the Marshall and the Orange, have no internal reverb. So, when you hear reverb on those, it's provided by the pedal on Pete's yeah, board. Actually, we might even do mini hoff. You know what? We might even just do like here's a chord with no reverb. Here's a chord with yes. reverb. Yeah. This one, this one, this one, and this one all have internal reverb. That's what you'll hear. So that's stage one. And stage two, I think we'll get into tweaking knobs, trying a bit of distortion, la di da. But stage la -di -da. one, la di da. Well, it's all a bit la di da. And have you noticed here, one thing that might be a bit different for you this time is that we're sitting on opposite directions because we have got an ampede to switch between all of these, a fabulous ampede where we can switch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. So we don't have to move. That's it, it's just perfect. Right, come on then. Okay. Uh, so here's a G chord on the Marshall Origin with no <laughs> reverb to start A D chord, with. yeah. A C chord and a D chord. It's very dry. Proving, if there needed to be any proof, yeah. that amps with no reverb should all be thrown in a skip. <laughs> <laughs> to say that, I had a long period of my <laughs> career, and my professional career, where I actually did not I played Fender Bassman and I was no reverb on it. That's because so. you probably, you're good and you played it in a big place and there was natural reverb. But for anyway, mere go. mortals, you need a reverb pedal. And here it is. Go and just not spit it. Okay, so <laughs> amp numero two, if we turn the reverb off, is now the little orange rock of fifteen behind me. That's enough okay. of no reverb. The, the, probably the daddy, and now, of course, the Rio you're hearing is the reverb from the amp. Woo! 
Aha. Number four. The Supra. Blues King 12. C30, uh, 15 even. AC 30, 15, AC 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. <laughs> Finally, in our sex tuplet of uh, small guitar <laughs> amplifiers, uh, is the uh, Boss, the Black Star HT20. It is so difficult to when you're sitting here listening to something that's there and something that's here and, and, be, and be able to go, well, I like that more than the other one. Well, I can tell you what I noticed going down. And I, I agree, you guys are lucky really because you're hearing all of these close mics. Yeah. So, so obviously what Pete and I are hearing is just in the room. So I hear I hear the fact that the, the orange is the only one with a 10 inch speaker yep. out of the range. It's mm -hmm. got a little bit slightly boxier kind of tone. Yeah. I hear the fact that this doesn't sound like it's got a lot of headroom, even though, driven. even though we've got it as clean as, you know, literally as clean as we can get it, it's still a little bit sort of like, I wanna go. It, it wants to um, go. And I hear the Black Star with the biggest, bassiest right. clean tone, yeah. mm -hmm. even though all the EQ and everything is flat. That's yeah. what I'm hearing. That's what, what I'm hearing? hearing too. I'm hearing the same thing. I'm definitely hearing the same thing. What are you hearing? Um, yeah, I'm yeah. hearing that there's definitely missing some bottom end of the Marshall, but we know that. It was oh, on my plane. I like what it sounded nice over here, the Marshall. Okay, where well, I'm sitting, see, that's the thing, and I get loads, I would say, yeah. way too much bottom end of the yeah. Black Star, where I'm sitting, it's like. Whoa. I'd agree, well, there's a, there is, do you know what? There is too much bottom end. Yeah. Well, not too much, there's borderline too much bottom yeah. end. I like that sound, but there's no um, EQ on the clean channel other than it's the tone control. Tone. But so is that usable in the mix when you're in a band? Because you won't be hearing that if you hear, if you have a kick drum and you've yeah, got a bass player, mm. that you can't hear well, that. Then I could try just turning the, the, the tone all the way up and see if, if that makes it less bassy. There's two voices on here. Yeah, I prefer the first one. But, but the there's... second voice shifts the emphasis yeah. up to the mid-range, doesn't it, more? Anyway, this, this hey. almost, it's almost like a loudness. So, there we are. Yeah. I, I am now going to take my GoPro and uh, sneak behind these amplifiers and show you uh, and show you um, kind of where the knobs are set and, and what we do to adjust them and stuff and we'll get some uh, other kind of funky sounds. But so far, now would be a good time for you guys to kind of type at this particular interlude, what's been your favorite one so far? <laughs> There's a close-up of a virtual hand typing. Right. It's this way around, isn't it? That's how they do it. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we go back to number one. I'm now sitting on this side here. I turn into Lee. Here is a, a little uh, overhead shot of the Origin 20. You can see that we've not really changed anything. Uh, everything's pretty flat. Uh, and we're in the high power mode. Um, woo! So many innuendos, I want to I so, say. You want to try it first <laughs> with, a, with a drive pedal, MP? We just get drive from the amps. Yeah, let's just get some drive from the amps and let's okay. just keep it clean. I put reverb on, so that's the only thing. So, I have uh, adjusted the controls on this amplifier here. You may not see this on close-up cam, but this button here is uh, one of these things that you can pull in and out depending on whether you want it to be boosted or not. In and, out. and as you can see, I've left the EQ pretty much where it was, but compensated massively by turning the master volume down uh, so that it doesn't blow our heads off. <laughs> Back 
pickup as well. Here's the front pickup. see one of the problems of uh, putting reverb in the front end of an amplifier because the level that we had that was acceptable at a clean sound now that we're driving it much harder now feels like it's too much yes and um, I think because the amp has got less headroom it struggles more with taking the reverb in the front because I think if we had 100 watts I think it would be much better really yes okay. that's, but that's just so, I mean we, that's another test we should do at some point do you want to try this now with a pedal over the top of it just to sort of can do. Into more yeah yeah I've got a light speed from Greer Woo! There we go, that's on now. Yeah, oh, right. Nothing wrong with that. No, light speed back like off. That. Push. We like that. And let's go to amp numero deux. Yeah. Right. That's let's loud. Just flatten this up a bit. So numero deux amp does <laughs> actually have a second channel. So you can see when we were playing the clean channel, the clean sound, it's just this knob here. The EQ doesn't work or anything like that. Knob. Now, of course, we have um, master volume, gain here, and an EQ in the middle, and a switch over here called natural or dirty. Dirty, dirty. We're going dirty. Dirty. Um, and let's just get a tone Too out. Too dirty to clean my act up. <laughs> Okay. Have you said it? So I haven't really done anything with the EQ yet, but you can see that what I've got here is the gain about 12 o'clock, mm. the master about uh, 11 o'clock, mm. and the EQ flat, and we've turned the reverb off to give you uh, like a yeah, stop it's getting too yeah. washed. Yeah. So this is no so you'll notice if you remember rightly, the marshal to get that level of drive sound is cranked, and if we wanted to go any more gain than that, we put the pedal in. The orange has got quite a lot more preamp gain in it. Look, I can so if you play now, Pete. <laughs> Here as well as the 10 inch speakers going, no, 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 please, no. Well, that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it is though, you it? are right, it's literally that's what it's sounding like. It's going, no, 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 no please, please, no, daddy, no, stop it. Yeah, don't um, do that. Don't. So, do you want to try this? Let me try this with the gain back down a bit with the light speed. Okay, here's the light speed. <laughs> Two cardinal sins: never make amps with no reverb, and never use single ten-inch speakers. Hey! Oh, I can do. I th th no reverb. I can, yeah, you can live with that. Yeah, I can live with that. But ten-inch speakers, I unless know. there's four of them, or at least two. At least two. Yeah, at least yeah. two of them. I can do. I can deal. Anyway, do you know what the only thing the orange has got? It's got an angry sound that kind of like yeah. some people are going to go, that's what I want it to sound like. Yeah. Edgy, but almost more punky kind of sound. Like more, more that's angry. it, punky. You want yeah. it like yeah, you want like a hipster. Hey. Uh, but I've <laughs> moved on. Yeah. Please oh, press the done. number three button. Boom. So, uh, here are the um, settings on the Fender. Now the Fender doesn't have a, a, a traditional, a little bit like the Marshall, it's not got two channels. All we've got is this fat button here. This, uh, 
Special Pete Honore signature, Leonardo DiCaprio fat <laughs> <laughs> We do have a master volume, so I can of course really crank this and then use the fat switch as well, but compensate by having the master low, so let's have a little look at where we're at now. kind of orange honky. thing it's a bit hung and it's a bit like it's like the cardboard is going now nah, I'm not sure about that one you know it's a bit too dry <laughs> if I go on the front pick up here <laughs> website to find out what it is today. Um, oh, super King, Blues King, Super, super Blues, King. Blues King. <laughs> uh, has a couple of switches on it, a relatively simple panel, volume, treble middle bass, reverb, master. Uh, you can bass, see as bass. well that we've not changed this. This is how loud we had the master when we were doing the clean uh, chord bit, and this is where the volume was. So you can see our, our sort of, you know, issue about headroom on this amplifier. There's not a lot of headroom. Um, so let's just start by engaging a couple of these boost and gain switches here. You want to read that, do you? No, I was just going to see if there might be like a half uh, watt setting under in the underneath. Underneath. Yeah, but maybe there's. Hey, look, there's the spec. We should do this in every video. Um, okay, so with the boost switch engaged. Immediately, I want to like jump it. down to my to the neck pick. Yeah. Oh, to the back. It's got a sound, Ooh, it has, certainly. It's a fun amp. It's got a sound. I mean, it's it's, it's it is fun. still quite boxy. Sounds sounding. like it's broken. Yeah, but it's but that's that's the sound. That's the sound. Yeah. So you go from that, and you go to let's go to the orange. Oh, I like them both now. 
kind of sound, haven't Ooh, we? Yeah. Anyway, uh, as you can see, uh, we have a normal input, which we aren't using, and a top boost input, which we are using. Uh, and so you can see the controls for the top boost are here, and then we've got tremolo, which I don't think we've got in any other amplifier, but we're not using that. Um, so, here we go with a, some top boost gain by turning the master volume down and tonking this up a bit. See what happens here. <coughs> How do you drink your water? Expect that at all? Uh, and then it's the it's the PRS man. It could be it PRS could and be. box because they were made around about the same. Oh no, they weren't. <laughs> um, <laughs> lights. Well, what's this now with like less gain on it? Was a, a nice it's, it's a it's a That's what it clean up nicely if you with a DC two W oh, man boss. okay Surprise, I, I like it. it. I like it a lot. That's what she okay. said. <laughs> and finally, uh, in this uh, little rundown for you here, Blackstar HD20. HD20, I'm pretty sure, is, yeah, it's definitely got the most kind of knobs and buttons on it. You can kind of see here. So, we talked before about the Clean Channel having two voices, and we've now got two voices on the Overdrive channel, and we've got loads of EQ, and we've got Reverb, and we've got Master, and blah, 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 blah. That's a lot in that amp, isn't there? So, it does a lot. Um, first of all, I believe we can, if we want to, just drive the Vajahibis. We can do what we want to. <laughs> we can do what we want to. The second voice on the clean sound. Many 
if I record this. Hey, uh, can I just confirm, you've definitely not got any pedals on there? This no. a lot of no pedals. gain out it's, of a plane It's all straight through. Fine. Yeah. So let's go over to the overdrive channel. Uh, here we go. And again, we've got two versions of that. Here's the, here's the regular version. Jared James thing. But I can't say that on here, so I didn't say that. Well, there we go. I, to be totally honest with you, <coughs> I mean, you guys obviously can decide what you liked, because at the end of the day, that's all that's important. It is, and they're all very similar price, all of these. Yeah, aren't they? I didn't think there was a bad one. I definitely no, thought not the all. Soup Pro and the Orange had their thing going on. Uh, there's definitely a uh, broken... You know when when we did the video on those that little fender, a, a tiny little thing, yeah. And we go, what is this? I can't get it. And I got your Les Paul out, and I just went like that, and everything on twelve, and it just was glorious. It well, just went, yes, do this to me all night long. That's why going right back to the beginning of this video, where I said I kind of didn't really want to do the little five watt ones, yeah, with the exception of the Black Star, yeah, because they're all they all, all feel they to me like they just want to turn everything up maximum big fat sounding guitar in it and mic it up and go crazy. Yeah. These are all sort of multi-functional amps. You know, you can have clean sounds, you can have rocky sounds, you yeah. can use them with pedals. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're loud enough to do little gigs with, they're quiet enough that you can still get a good tone at home. You know, Take it's, pedals, it's a, okay, all yeah. of them, uh, even on the clean sound. But, you know, what was your favorite then? Uh, listening to. It's, it goes against almost everything in terms of the brands that I most kind of love. Yeah. But it would be the Vox and the Blackstar. Yeah. Like, I, I think, the, the Vox definitely just went, yeah, I think the Blackstar's got, sounds great, but there's something about it that is, that is too loudness-y. Do you know what I mean? I know what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? You're saying you're a professional guitar player <laughs> and there are things that you look for in an amp sound yeah. that maybe I'm a home guitar player and there's That's things that I look home. in. And that's Perfect. why I'm loving the home. Yeah, that's loads why. of bottom end and mm. home, but it's too mm. loud. It's like you've got the, your stereo system from 1984, and there's a loudness button, yeah. and it, everything goes, whoo, yeah. but it's not real, you know what I mean? So, Vox, just, that blew yeah. my mind right there, because I've never yeah. done that before. It's, but, and then, I mean, I thought the Marshall, Marshall was great. was but a, a just <coughs> proper rock and roll sound, I just it? wish it had reverb in it. But the basic tone, if you've got a reverb pedal on your board or you don't, you know, you don't mind buying one on top of that. Plus you don't have reverb. No, it's rubbish. Has it got an effects loop? Yes, it does. It does have an effect. Well, then it's easier. Then you just pop in your thing in the effects loop and then you've got reverb. You know that black star is instant Jared James Nichols. Well, I, it's just... His signature amp is based exactly, on the Exactly, and that's why immediately... <laughs> Anyway, the bit that freaks me out a bit is I think in terms of sales, yeah. the Blues Junior and in the various limited edition guises that Fender put out of that every year, yeah. outsells all the other ones in this row. And I'm, and I'm sort of trying to just sort of go, what is it? Yeah, I mean, because it, I mean, it sounds cool, there's no doubt about it, but is it just that the, it looks cool, it's simple to use, it takes pedals great, and loads of people have got them.
and I like the reverb. It's got a classic Fender reverb, hasn't it? But I just want to do like this, like black star. <laughs> with the sound. It's, this is more, that, as you said, bedroom in here sounds awesome, but on the stage, that will just disappear. I For think me, it's, that's it's just got a much heavier mid scoop clean it, sound. It's hasn't just it? will. It just it sounds great, but in a in a in a in, with the bass on it, it that bottom end disappears. Mm. This just kicks right through it. Let's go on. Let's just put a light speed on the top of this and yeah. see what happens. scooped isn't it the black star, which makes it really really pleasing to the ear yeah. in sort of isolation and as you say practice and stuff like that but you're probably right if it actually came down to gigging with that clean sound the fender would probably cut through more yeah. uh, but, but they, I did like the oh it sounds great the, yeah. Yeah. actually they all got a thing they've all the got Supra a thing and, they, and the, and the uh, Orange I could just tap that and just turn everything up and just do a proper I think the, the, the like, Supra is probably it's when you talk about character and just like what <laughs> and you can kind of see why it looks great you know over the years there have been some classic kind of rock players that have gone with with super amps and yeah. they probably are just a gunned kind of thing yeah. it's like you say i know um, it made me laugh when you said it but that it almost does sound like is it broken like yeah. you know but like in a good way but that's a studio thing you know you use that in the studio is it broken kind of sound isn't it so there you go. So there you go. But and, I don't think we've missed any. I mean, there's there's bound to be, be a few you know, there's more, bound to be some other brands. I can think of you know, PV makes some good little amplifiers, and there's a there's a there's a cool little one from Cock amplifiers that we didn't include Jupiter, just Jupiter, purely Jupiter. and simply because they make so few. It's like you know, we get like half a dozen a year, and that's all we seem to ever get. Yeah, I haven't um, even seen one here yet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what else? Who else do we do that, you know, Ignator makes some cool amps. And of course, a bucket load of solid state amplifiers that you can all sort of be going, oh yeah, Boss Next Tone and all that kind of stuff. But yeah. you know what? We love you a little tube amplifier. Yes, you do. I think most people would agree that these are the six kind of most popular. Yeah. Well, that is, that is, that's new in the, that's the that's new, true. new boy in the class. The new it? dog yeah. on the block. And I like it. Yeah, it looks I like cool. it. And it looks cool. And it's got an effects loop. If you need that, they, but, all, they all look cool. There's not, a, there's not a bad one. I, I would absolutely have the orange in orange if I was going to buy one. Yeah, we, you can have the Marshall orange looks in, in either. Classic. Or Marshall looks it's great. Yeah. they nailed the Origin yeah. series. It looks great, and it sounds great. The Fender looks great. They all look great. Yeah, I'm none the wiser. None the wiser. Yeah, which would you buy? I probably get, again because of Fender. No, I don't know. I, I probably, I've got. To, I probably would do the black stuff. Yeah, for home. For, yeah, absolutely for me. Just yeah. I want something nice. I did agree. It didn't Probably. sound great with the light speed on it. That might have put me off a bit. Oh, I don't know. I mean, the, the Vox was the one that most instantly the gigging. just went, yeah, but hello. That, with that in a gig, it's just yeah. rock, instant rock, cock, rock, cock. You can say cock because that's a, that's a chicken, it's male a, chicken. Absolutely, or a brand of amp. Or yep. just Greg's surname. Yeah. As we sign out to say goodbye, uh, and as you comment... Furiously in the comment <laughs> section below. Um, I'm just going to literally spend five seconds on each amplifier. It's back. They're back on kind of fat, clean tones with the light speed pickup. Whilst we just noodles. Maybe I'll go ten seconds on each amp. But anyway, here we go with no talking. See ya. <laughs>
mother. I didn't say I loved her. I love you, mother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a ghost. <laughs> Who's at the door? <laughs>